Welcome back to my second playthrough in Tectonica, guys, and this time we are all about efficiency. So we built this a very small factory just to get us going last time, but now we want to get this working as efficiently as possible. So let's have a look at the numbers again. So what have we got? So input on these is 30 a minute. And these are outputting at 25 per minute. So if we want to utilize the full power of those, we're going to need... What are we going to need? We're going to need eight drills for... What is it? Five? Yeah, five smelters. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of work to do here because we currently can't fit eight drills around here, I don't think. We are going to need to get to the mole. Which means we need to put some stuff into here and hopefully we'll get the mole next, I think. So let's, uh, let's build two containers, first of all. We need two containers. Four inserters. One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, we need a lot of conveyor belts, but we've got our, all our all our goodness going into here, look. Uh, so we want, how many conveyor belts was it? 45. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go. That should build them, and we should have our iron and copper. So once all of that's built, we should be good to go. Um, come on, we need a few more. 35. Oi, one more, come on. Woohoo! Right, so let's upgrade this terminal. Beacons are back online. Inspect the radio console right next to the screen. It'll start beeping and blinking in three, two, one. Beep, beep. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Live sign. Um, oh, this is where we go and find sparks, isn't it? So let's go and grab this. Uh, let's grab some fuel on the way. I keep forgetting to grab fuel. I've got some tech you're gonna like. And I know you wouldn't dream of leaving without me anyways. Sending that signal is more complicated than you think. I don't know why, but these computers feel like second nature now. Sort of the opposite of what I remember. We know why, Sparks. We know why. Because you're a cube. Um, if I remember right, there was some stuff down here. So we have them. And were there more at this end? I think so. Make us walk around all these silly boxes. And then we have a crank generator, some advanced circuits. Then I think we have to go all the way back and we can jump our way out. There we go. Now we want to go down and find sparks. Up there. A little sparky cube. Hello, sparks. Um oh casualties detected. Hi sparks. Okay, so this is Sparks. But now this is Sparks. What? You've never seen someone stuck inside an alien cube I Sparks. on dead body before? Whatever I was trying to do here, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it didn't work out. Hopefully it was worth a shot. Let's go. Then we get the mole here, because this Stop. activates. Scan the fragment yes. in that cage by the stairs before we go. We'll need that tech to get out of the sector. Take this. We'll take those research cores, which enables us to research the mole, I believe. Faster, faster. Signal enough. deciphered. Sector headquarters. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. 
Sounds like the terminal is fully rebooted. Check the radio console again and see if the beacon it adds to your HUD gives us a clear path home. Signal Cause... triangulated. <clears throat> New location added to HUD. So this is going to point production up this way to production terminal Victor. Breaker. This is the but as I said, I might just try building one. my factory we down here. To cut through to Sector Victor without it. Yeah. So let's learn the mole. Uh, terraforming. Mole. Oh, we haven't put down these. Uh... Are they on? They're on nine. F nine. Ugh. Let's put these. Down. There we go. And then we should be able to learn the mole. There we go. Task inbound. Mole. Manipulates terrain for traversal and composition of industrial construction sites. So we need to build a mole, I believe. Yeah, we've got enough to build a mole. Let's get that thing building. There we go. Now we can drill around here. This mole is not authorized to destroy resources, critical infrastructure, or protected environmental areas. Oh yeah, we've got the new mole ability. Oh, I want to try digging down. I'm going to go up. <laughs> Sorry guys. Got to try it. Yes, look at that. Awesome. That's brilliant. Good job with that one, fire hose. Now let's uh let's get eight drills running. Is there eight drills I needed? I think so. Was well, it twenty-five per drill? We need to get to hundred and fifty. No, so it's six, isn't it? Six drills. Oh I forgot about overheat. Oh, I don't have coolant. <laughs> I do like the new UI though that shows which which bits you're pulling out. Which bits you're actually going to mole away. That's good, that's good. Well done again, Firehose team. You get several gold stars in this uh, in this episode, I believe. What I might do is speed up the molding in editing if if necessary so don't have to watch me okay look look at our, our lovely little room that we've made now so we need to add on to here some extra drills so what do we need we've got two so we need room for four so one enough room to feed it with fuel Later on. Two. Three. Stick one on the end here. Oh. So six, wasn't it? We needed two or six. Yep. That's brilliant. Use the mole to gather up a lot of this stuff. Oh, hang on. We haven't been scanning the, the plant matter. Don't have our journal entries. Let's, let's scan these first. Otherwise, we won't, won't know what they are. Well, we know what they are, but you know what I mean. Actually, there was... Uh, Something to scan up here as well, wasn't there? This computer has a requisition for local plant life to be delivered to a science team for analysis. It looks like the request was approved, but doing it was marked as a low priority by command. Very low priority, but was marked as urgent. We didn't come here for science. We need a lot more plant matter. I don't remember this kind of hostility about it either.
these might be easier to do by hand. Otherwise, the mole will just try and mole into the rocks. We don't want that. We just want plant matter. Which we're going to need quite a bit of, to be honest, to feed all of these machines initially. So the sooner we can get to a better fuel source, the better. Click on the card above just to see the uh, really early bio bricks that you can get right at the start, guys. Okay, I think we're just going to have to put sort of maybe half in each for the moment. That'll do. And then they're all going. Going to need to build some more of these. And a lot more of these. So we're going to need more ingots. Okay, let's just bring these along, like this, fix them on the end here, and when we get inserted this building after all the rest of that's built, we'll be able to carry on with that. Let's go and mole over this side while we're waiting, because this actually looks like a really big copper vein. They seem to have got rid of the copper vein over here. There used to be a copper vein over here. Maybe it's buried in the rocks still. Let's run back over now that we've got some inserters coming out. Okay. Lots of iron coming through now, look. And we need to build three, four, five of them. And Oh, we do have some fast inserts. We're gonna do this all with normal ones to start with because we are looking to do this efficiently. There we go. Right, so these should be producing at the same speed as these. So we're, we're still backing up. But these shouldn't be counting up. These should be counting down. I mean, it helps us 25 minutes, so 50... Oh, no, we're free. So that's like 75, but it's still keeping up with just 75. Uh, that's good because of the joining here, isn't it? I think. So I'm going to change this. That's so all one track. Oh. I don't have mass arrays. <laughs> I forgot. So if we change this so that these go this way instead. We'll see if this makes a difference.
Yeah, there you go, look. Now it's working at a better speed. Yeah, that's working better now. So when you're joining, you need to watch out for that. It affects the speed of the belts. Well, it is building up here. Yeah, it's still building up. Wonderful. So we, we've got the right ratio there then, guys. So it is working. Our mouse was not really bad. Oh, you ran out of fuel. There you go. Uh, oh, doesn't let you split like that. Right. Let's put down... Let's finish our drilling, because this episode's gone on far too long again. Okay, let's get on with uh, placing these drills down on this copper vein and get this working. Okay, so we just need to put some inserters in these. We don't, might need a few more inserters. Uh, what have we got? One, two, three, four. We're going to need a couple more inserters. Let's take some of this out. Build a load of inserters. And finish this up. Now, he says, this should work. Fish, oh, we don't have enough material. There we go. Okay, so let's see if this builds up as well. I reckon it will. Why is that? Oh, that's out of fuel. Fuel is a problem, definitely. We need to sort the fuel out. Don't know if they've made it so the fuel doesn't last as long. I didn't check the recipe for that and whether it's changed since since the last patch. They did say they changed fuel ratios, actually, didn't they? Not you. You need some fuel. Which explains... Why this was backing up, maybe? Why this is backed up back to here? Hopefully now it will not back up. Let's see what we've got with these ones. Yeah, this seems to be working all right. Look, this isn't backing up at all, so it's perfect. Maybe it's backed up by one. No, no, it's taking it. Oh, brilliant. So the maths is working. It was just... <laughs> I thought maths had failed us. But it hasn't. That is about as efficient as we can get our start factory, I think. Uh, just doing our iron ore, our iron ingots, and our copper ingots. That should be working at a nice rate now. I mean, look, let's be honest, that's backing up. And this one will be backing up. But.
Okay, all. So this episode is uh, going to be finished. We have built a very efficient factory now. And so our iron ingots and our copper ingots are being produced very, very efficiently. Okay, I just need to add one more thing in here, guys. These will start backing up because uh, we are now checking out a lot more of the ingots. And as you can see, we're not taking them in fast enough. So make sure that you build out enough so that your boxes can take all of these in. Uh, so you're going to need... Well, if we put four of those down, that gives us 80 per minute that it's putting away. And these are releasing, what, 75 per minute? They do 15 each. So what, we've got 60? Yes, 75 per minute. So that should enable everything to work at full speed then without backing up at all. Uh, we did have a little bit of backing up and I was wondering why and it was because we didn't have enough of these putting away. So we need to do the same on this side with the copper. And once we've done that, this should now run absolutely lovely. Let's take some of these away just to let it catch up with itself. And there we go. As you see, that is running really smooth. Okay, all. So as you can see, we have finished this starter factory which is just doing our ingots so it's doing our copper and our iron ingots but we have found the golden ratio which is six drills to five smelters and as long as you put two inserters pulling in and one inserter pulling out but make sure your boxes that are collecting all the end results have at least a four inserters around them or and you will be working at full speed. So, if you've enjoyed this episode and if it has been informative, then please uh, give me a like. That really helps me out. And if you feel like it, subscribe to my channel. That would be brilliant too. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks all. Bye. <laughs>